everyone in today's video tutorial I'm just going to show you how to make this quick little candy cane ornament that you can hang on your tree you can make a garland with them or you can just use them to put on top of your presents when you give away your presents as a nice little decoration um, so here you could see that it's just very easy pattern you can find the written pattern this is an idea uh, book from yarnspirations.com and you would just need to look up crochet candy cane ornament and you'll be able to see that they have a lot of other little ornaments okay everyone to begin we're going to make two coils one of the red and one of the white I'm going to be working with the red because it's easier to see it on camera than the white but you're going to repeat the same process for the white as you did for this uh, red and this is like super fast and easy and they make really cute ornaments uh, candy cane ornaments um, or you can hang them around your house or make a little garland with them to begin I'm just going to make a slip loop just like this and we're going to begin by making 40 chains I'm using a size, uh, H hook which is a five millimeter and then of course you're going to need some scissors to cut your yarn and a needle to yarn needle to sew in your tails so here um, you can also use like a little ribbon to hang them up on the tree or just use another uh, little piece of yarn so here I'm going to go ahead and begin by chaining 40 to make the chain you just wrap your yarn around your excuse me wrap the hook around the yarn and then pull it through and here you already have three of them so I'm going to go ahead and do 40 and then we'll come back when I fin have finished doing all my 40 chains okay here I have done all my 40 chains and like I said this is super easy you just have to be patient with doing all your double crochets um, basically the idea is that we're going to get three double crochets in every little chain beginning in the fourth chain from the hook so here those first three chains are going to count as my first double crochet so here is one two three and the fourth chain is where I'm going to do my double crochet to do a double crochet you yarn over meaning you wrap the hook around the the, yarn, the hook around the yarn and I'm going to go into that fourth chain there and I'm going to pull out now I have three loops of yarn on my hook I'll put through the first two then the second two and I'm going to do one more time double crochet in that same chain pull through the first two the second two now because these three the first three chains are counting as a double crochet that's going to be one two three double crochets in every uh, chain and here we're going to repeat that all the way around so it is going to get really twisty but that's um, we're going to uh, put them together and shape them with our hands so then here on the next chain and in every chain to the end I'm going to do three double crochets and remember we're going to repeat that with the white as well you're going to do 40 chains and then you do your double crochets with the white as well so here on the next stitch here I'm going to go ahead and do three double crochets one two and three and it will start to shape like a corkscrew but that's what we wanted to do because then later on we're going to shape it into our little um, candy cane okay here I've come to my last uh, the 40 uh, my last chain here so I'm going to go ahead and just cut this a little long so I could um, um, sew in the tails so they're going to look this one I've already done here in the white so you can see how they're all kind of crazy so you want to um, uh, wrap them together so what I do is that I just put these two here one on top of the other one just like that and then I start trolling it just like this you're shaping it with your hands into a little curly cue and if you want you can sew in all your tails first it'd probably be easier but I just wanted to show you guys how you just lay one on top of the other and start turning it like a little corkscrew so they're together and continue all the way to the end okay so they're all stuck together and now here on the top you would just fold this over and I'm just gonna kind of tack this top here together right there and to this area spice here so we're gonna have our little candy cane or you could do it from the other end it doesn't matter which end just fold it over tack the ends together oops this got slipped okay so this got slipped off a little bit let me do it again because they're supposed to be together so that they're the same they're the same length it's getting a little longer with the white I guess So 
So this is pretty loose right here, so I'm just going to get it, put the ends together here and here, and then I'm going to twist it to get the shape better, just like that. And then get that right there. So now that we've twisted our little candy cane, we're ready to just turn it this way, and we're going to tack it with a little bit of yarn here. Let me get my piece. Where is it? Here it is. And if you want, you could use the invis invisible thread. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to get a little bit closer. There we go here. So here I'm just going to tack this together just to kind of hold it there so it doesn't fall apart. And you could do that at the bottom edge as well. But we're just going to tack a few places right there. I'm going to make a little, just a little loop there, and I'm going to hide those tails into my work, okay? So now that one's already tacked there, so let me move this here. Just got that there, and I got another piece here. So I want to tack these two, these two reds together to kind of make it make that little turn to shape it like that candy cane. I think I might have cut that other tail a little bit too long, so too short, I'm sorry. So I'm going to try to make these a little bit longer. Okay, now I've just tacked my little uh, candy cane to give it shape. And then you could just get a piece of yarn or a, a ribbon or whatever you want to do. These make great ornaments and also make great little um, decorations to add to your presents when you wrap them you can add a little candy cane and you just make them the string as long as you need here and then you're gonna just hang it put the little string through so you could hang it on your ornament I'm gonna just do it through here and then I am just going to make a little knot right there towards the edge because then that would it'll give me enough of a let me get rid of all my tails here it's making a mess this will give me enough of a string to be able to hang it on my tray. This is just up. But if you see it like this, it would be this way. I don't know why my camera is not showing further. Let me see. Like this, and you can hang it. And if you prefer, like I said, you could get some of the fisherman's wire or invisible um, thread. Um, I probably should have done this with white since it came out of the white. But either way, it's white and red. So you're all done. All this is just that little corkscrew, the little coils. So um, this is a nice little idea. Um, and like I said, you can go to the yarnspiration.com and then you just look up um, candy cane ornament in the crochet patterns and you'll be able to find it It's um, if you want to have uh, the instructions. But then I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Make sure you hit that little bell here next to the subscribe button and that little bell will notify you every time I have a new video up. I hope you make a bunch of little candy canes for your ornaments. These are, you know, like I'm, I'm going to make some for uh, our garland and I'm going to actually be making some so that I could put them on my presents for when I wrap my presents. It'll be a cute little decoration. So have a great day and remember always that God loves you.